going to show you five really lovely stretches to relieve lower back pain. So be careful as we go through these exercises, if you're following along or you try them afterwards, just make sure that you're listening to your body. We you don't want to increase any pain and obviously everybody's back problems are very different. So if you're uncertain, please consult a medical practitioner before you try any of these. Great. So number one, Chloe, is our standing hip tilt. Chloe's going to demonstrate for us. This is a really lovely one. We start in a little fourth position. Front foot is parallel facing me. And then turn your back foot out gently. Good. Back quarter away, not too much of a turnout. Perfect. Nice and tall. And then wrap your arms around your back. Perfect. So holding on to your elbows or just feeling your elbows through the fingertips. Now, keeping the back nice and straight, shoulders down. Just tilt forwards for me from the hips. Good. Look down. Hold it here just for a second. Excellent. Just feel a nice stretch through the backs of the legs, right up into hips here. Now you can take an inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth as you just release the arm and fold all the way down. Drop the head and let the arm, neck and head relax. Good. Hold it here for just a couple of seconds and when you're ready, just gently roll up through the spine. Make sure you bring the head last. Good. Really nice. <laughs> That's a really nice one. Yeah. It does really? take a little bit of a stretch. You probably don't want to do it if you're super cold or don't overstretch into that one if you're not feeling um, super kind of warm or you're a bit tight in the lower body. And you probably want to take it with the other foot in front as well, just to make sure you're evening that out. And you'll start to get the stretch not just through the lower back but through the sides and down to the hips as well, which is really nice. Good. So for number two, we're going to get down onto the floor. Take a lovely little soup point release. Good. So stretch these legs along the mat. Lovely. Arms out to the side and then turn palms to face the ceiling. Excellent. Bend one knee up to about 90 degrees and then you can just drop it across the body. Let the foot relax, you can let it fall to the floor if you want. And then turn your head away from the knee. Lovely, holding it here. Good. So you've probably tried this stretch before, you might have seen people do this stretch before. What's really important in these kinds of stretches is the relaxation element. Because we're in a slightly funny position, it can feel a bit uncomfortable and you can still hold some tension in the body. So what I'm going to ask Chloe to do is just to start using her breath to relax a bit more. So breathing in through the nose, gentle exhales out of the mouth. And with every exhale, just imagine your shoulders sinking into the floor, your hands relaxing into the floor, that knee, the back is releasing, and the spine is just extending gently. Good. When you're ready, you can come gently out. Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah. And of course, the same thing, you want to do that on the other side as well with the other leg. And hold it for as long as you want. You can always kind of come back up, reset, go back into the stretch if it feels good. Yeah, sometimes I'm in that stretch for quite a long time. Yeah. This feels really nice to relax into it. Number three, we're still on our back. So if we come all the way down, this is a little ball roll. So we're really releasing the whole spine with this one. Yes, perfect. Lovely big stretch. Fingertips away from toes. So Chloe's pointing her toes, stretching her fingertips, and she's going to inhale through the nose. Feel the spine expand. Exhale out the mouth. Hug your knees and gently roll into a little ball. You can lift the head and shoulders off if you want to. Lovely. When you're ready, take that stretch and inhale again. So nice, slow breaths. Breathing in. Exhale into that ball. And of course, as you take that stretch, you're expanding the spine, you curl into that ball, you're stretching the spine even more and releasing any kind of misalignments that we might have built up during the day. It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> lovely, super relaxing. Well done. <laughs> Good. Okay, so number four, we're going to turn you over onto your 
front. Perfect. And then, lovely. Arms out to the side. Head all the way down to the floor. No tension in the upper body here. And then Kelly's going to lift one leg. And just take it over gently to the other side. You know, just hold it there gently. Care for this one. We've all got different levels of flexibility around our hips and our backs. So you might find that you can stretch further or a bit less than this. And when you've had enough, just gently breathe out and stay on the other side. Good. It looks super uncomfortable, but it's quite relaxing. <laughs> yeah, that well, is more relaxing than it looks, definitely. <laughs> and it's a nice release and stretch for that spine and the hips as well. We hold so much tension in our hips really surprising and that can cause a lot of lower back pain. Good, last one is classic child's pose. Good, so knees about hip width, extending the hands away, push the hips back, bottom onto heels if you can and in this child's pose always make sure your head is relaxed and down to the floor. You don't want any tension through the neck and shoulders there. Good, so you're stretching those arms away Feeling the back extend, the spine slightly long all the way down into the bottom there. If you want to take an arm stretch as well, you can come up onto fingertips here. Yeah, or you can just relax. Even more relaxing is to bring your arms down by your sides and let your yeah, wrists fall by your ankles. Lovely. Chloe's going to stay there for the rest I of the Might just give her a nap, yeah. <laughs> they do, which ones were your favourites? Drop a note in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you soon. Bye!